What do I know about Pnau? Pnau are just the shit. I feel like Daryl Summers on Hey Hey is Saturday. <laughs> but now they are back, the old Pnau sound, as well as some new stuff mixed with a bit of rock. Genius, these two. <laughs> and we're back with Pnau! <laughs> <laughs> These are the 12 colours of Pinau that you can see here on the cover, and they're also on the spine, yeah. they're also on the back. Each colour represents a song, right? And not only that, each song... ...has a corresponding yeah, icon. Yeah, so I'm with you forever, diamonds are forever. Shock to my system, <laughs> Lighting bulb. Lighting bulb. Pinau have been around for 12 years now, 13 years. They started off writing a bit of doof doof stuff. And then they write an album called Summer Nova, which is massive, massive around the world. Well, the writing is different than recording, and writing yeah. can happen anywhere, from a park bench to uh, you know a five-star hotel in uh, New York City. Not that we did that. And um, we came Kept up with recording. this one backing track, which was with you forever. We sent it to Luke C.B. Jackson. He came back with just the most killer song, and it kind of changed everything. We scrapped everything else, mm. and we had a new benchmark, but we had a benchmark. Mm. And then we started over again. If we could be completely blunt for a minute, there's one thing I know about Nick because I've been watching him do bro shots for quite a few years. He loves showing a bit of pube. This fucking bin! He will take direction quite That's well. That's awesome! <laughs> Look at this. Assistant. This is the very, very famous Cybelle. It's fucking sweet. She's very well known. She does great portrait photography for some of the best musicians in Australia. And right now, she's shooting I think we just realised that we needed to write heaps better stuff. Like, it was like having a whole record and we just went, you know, this, fuck this, we need better music, we, we, yeah. you know. And as you said, when we did With You Forever with Luke, it was a, it was a bit of an epiphany. We, we realised we could do a lot better and we needed to write songs. I'd rather go and pick some of those wild. It's like I'm trying to take a shit standing up. Yeah, actual songs. Um, and we wanted to put something positive into the world. Exactly. Like we'd done with our first record. Unlike what we did with our second record, which was kind of a collection of tunes. And, you know, there's some good things in there and there's some whatever things in there. But this one was really about something that ran through the whole record, you know? Yeah. We wanted, like we've got with the icons, we won't damage them with exactly. the... Um, <laughs> You know, everything ties into everything. We we tried to make songs because um, it's you know it's not like we set out to make a club record. It's not like we set out to make a pop record. But I think we just tried to do what we do, the sounds that we do with vocals. This is a you know this is a vocal record for us. So you think you can dance? More than what two? one or two vocal tracks and this is full of vocals, so, yeah. For me, I, I sort of see it as colour, and the mm. first record was a few colours, like it was a, a deep blue and, and kind of a velvet red, and the second record was quite black and white yeah. for the most part. This record really, for us, is Technicolor, and it's that invention of Technicolor and the birth of, of it's not even psychedelic colour, it really is primary. Uh, we just wanted to bring back the magic to things, you know? And we're going to tour Australia with a massive tent that we're going to erect in towns and throw parties in that rather than doing it in you know, traditional venues and stuff like that. And there's going to be all these kind of performers and crazy tricks and it's going to be like we're going to create a rave in every town in Australia. Bring your party with us. Yeah. We really want to take people away from just a band standing up there with a drummer and a keyboard player miming, you know. It, we want it to be so much more than just fucking music, you know. Yeah. It's everything to us. We'll die for this shit. I'm going to cut off my arm. <laughs> We've well, already tried by the tried, looks of things. Look at all these scratches. <laughs>